yeah, the first question is from Susan from nexttribe.com. Hi, um, Gina, congratulations on the award. Um, could you talk about what this award means to you and what's the next initiative that you're working on? Oh, well, we, we still have a lot more work to do um, with our institute, Madeline and I, but uh, uh, this is a tremendous recognition for us of the work that we've been doing and um, to be you know, embraced by your peers and encouraged and um, welcomed uh, to you know, offer our insights is, is, is wonderful. And in terms of an initiative, we have a really big initiative coming up uh, the month of October called Hashtag Girls Lead STEM. Uh, Gina and I have been studying how women and girls are portrayed as scientists, engineers, mathematics, and there's a coalition of about six partners that have come together, and we're dedicating the month uh, for Girls Lead STEM, and it's a way for us to raise the voices of girls that are doing STEM, of organizations that are supporting you know, girls in STEM. So uh, for all of you press out there, uh, October, Hashtag Girls Lead STEM. Our next question is also virtual, and it comes from Ambani from Muslim Girl. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Gina. Hi, Hi honey. How are you? I'm great. Congratulations on such a tremendous win, not only for your organization, but also what it represents to women across the industry, many different industries from all different backgrounds. What do you think this moment means for the work that you have been doing, which of course Muslim Girl has been happy to support as a partner and couldn't be prouder of? Well, you know, uh, I think it's very, it's very significant and uh, uh, we're, you know, we, what we do is usually sort of behind the scenes, so to actually get recognition like this is, is really, uh, uh, we're very grateful for that. And Amani, we've been friends and colleagues and supporters for such a long time, and Muslim Girl has been one of the best allies we could have. So it's significant because hopefully we can do a lot more together. Absolutely. Thank you, and enjoy the moment. Thank you. you. Thank you. And our final question comes also virtually from Tanya with Hollywood Live. Hi, Tanya. Hello, ladies. Madeline. Gina, Tanya, our American Urban Radio Networks. First of all, Gina, I have to say, you've always been on the right side of history. And this organization represents that, I think, as well. What does this mean from an historic perspective for your organization and for women? Oh, geez. Well, uh, you know, um, I hope it has some historic perspective that's a little... Uh, a lot to ask, but uh, but um, I think we're very encouraged by, we've been encouraged all along by the reception that we get to our research and our, our mission and that message, uh, because there's no blaming anybody or, or uh, you know calling anybody out. It's all about uh, the data. And we just meet privately with studios and, and networks and guilds, whoever, and share the data uh, you know, quietly with them, and then say, you know, what you do, what you will with uh, with what we've shown you, and uh, and it's proved to be remarkably effective. We have we've partnered with uh, almost anybody you can think of uh, as far as uh, uh, helping, you know, analyze their scripts or helping uh, helping them get more diversity and and female characters in their in their product. It really shows the power of collective impact. Uh, because it's taken all the work that we've done, as Gina said, behind the scenes with all types of content creators who have helped us and therefore, you know, just seeing more authentic and more authentic representation. 